back your fiat currency that is simply a uh, global currency local version. Just like your driver's license is federal, it just says Texas or California. That's the real ID. That was in the executive order 1994 by Clinton, implemented by 2000. You were told two years ago in 2008. This is all a strategic stated plan. Understand, I am telling you their stated plan. This is 100% accurate, the information you are receiving. This is not my opinion. But now we have a clear image of just how hardcore they're going to slam this economy. It's worse than I thought. It is road warriorish. It is the road uh, level, that film about collapse of society. And out of that collapse will come the uh, total deindustrialization and then the completely managed society, the collectivist society of the New World Order. This is their stated aim at the Pentagon, at the UN, at the Club of Rome, at the Council on Foreign Relations. So let's get into the information right now. Finally, CBS News and others are reporting that every major poll shows Obama has dropped to 40 points at least. In some polls, he has a low 30 percent approval rating. In some polls, over a 70 percent negative approval rating. Uh, the Times of London, the Financial Times, the Associated Press, Reuters, Politico, Wall Street Journal, New York Times are all announcing that Obama is politically destroyed and that he's not treading water, that he is sunken beneath the waves. It is a complete collapse. Suddenly, we're seeing globalist think tanks openly speaking, uh, top Clinton advisor, of course, uh, Mr. Sapiro. Uh, and others are in the news saying, if we don't have another Oklahoma City or 9-11, Obama is done and our agenda for globalization is over. So the elites are openly showing there's an internal debate about this, and we know there is, saying, look, we've got to have a terror attack, even if the 9-11 truthers and the Oklahoma City people that have exposed that as an inside job, even though they've done their work and exposed us, and a, a lot of elites uh, believe that that false flag tool has been irrevocably damaged, that they've got to go with a false flag. Let's cover that first. Then we'll look at the other false flags, economic, military, uh, and, of course, environmental, that they are executing and exacerbating. From the oil spill to the situation with Iran, this is going to be a perfect storm. Obama isn't meant to survive this politically, and maybe not even physically. And we pray that doesn't happen. He is meant to be destroyed in the process. That is what these globalists do. This is how they operate. Now, let's go over it. This is a PrisonPlanet.com article directly quoting, directly quoting the Financial Times of London that came out last night. It was the top link on the Drudge Report. At about 8 p.m., I was up here working. Uh, one of the guys came over and uh, handed me the article with it highlighted, and then I, I had Aaron post it, and then Paul Watson did a story this morning. So, so this is getting major attention, and that's good. Top Clinton official, only a terror attack can save Obama. Then Watson, chillingly, with his precise research, goes through all the previous statements of the think tanks calling for staged terror attacks. Now, let me actually just read to you from the Financial Times of London, uh, itself, uh, so you can see this. Here is the Financial Times of London, and uh, this story is now the official talking point. There are hundreds of papers, all simultaneously, reporting this worldwide today. So they are purposefully destroying Obama. They are purposely admitting he has collapsed uh, and saying he needs a terror attack. Listen to this quote. Okay, this is by Mr. Shapiro, top advisor to Bill Clinton and advisor to Barack Hussein Obama. The bottom line here is, is that Americans don't believe in President Obama's leadership, says Rob Shapiro, another former Clinton official and supporter of Obama. He has to find some way between now and November of demonstrating that he is a leader who can command confidence and, short of a 9-11 event or Oklahoma City bombing, I can't think of how he could do that. Now, I just read you that quote. I just went over that quote for you here on air. Now, you dovetail that with the uh, mindset of these people and with the Pentagon just four years ago or three years ago under Rumsfeld, Donald Rumsfeld, 
and they released the audio tape of this with these top generals saying, sir, we need another 9-11. We've got to have it or our agenda is going to stall. And he said, yeah, but that's tough. That's tough to do. He comes within a Bible page, just, just microscopic thin, membrane thin distance of saying they stage 9-11. It is so incredible. To, to see them. And you see all these neocons writing headlines about how great 9-11 was, how they did another one, internal Republican Party chairman. Uh, that came out in the news a few years ago saying we need another 9-11 or McCain won't get elected. Y you see this is bipartisan. This is their crisis creation mentality. But it is so important to get this report out to everyone. Top Clinton official, only a terror attack can save Obama. Now I'm going to go back into this in a moment, but here is another report. The October surprise is coming. And of course it is. Uh, Fox News, outsider wins Alabama GOP governor nomination. Self-described outsider Robert Bentley won Alabama's Republican nomination for governor Tuesday night over established candidate Bradley uh, Brine with a strong showing in rural areas. See, people are going and voting out Democrats who are seen as establishment, Specter in the primary, Republicans that are seen as establishment, uh, running against Rand Paul, he wins in Kentucky, uh, Hawaii, uh, Utah, Colorado, um, Massachusetts, you know the cases. This is not one party in favor, one party out of favor. The reason the system is panicking, they can always just exchange, take a left step, take a right step. Nobody ever looks at the body these legs are carrying or the brain, the global central banks. They look at the legs or they look at the wing, the left wing or the right wing, not the bird that the wings are attached to. That's what we focus on here is this carrion crow, is this buzzard, this vulture, this blood drinking, corrupt, parasitic, vampiric system of oppression and, and corruption. So the reason they're in panic mode is, and I told you this a year and a half ago, because I saw Republicans and Democrats being booed at every town hall. And the media spun and said it was just the leftists. Again, getting ready to scapegoat Obama. The left's doing that because they're all part of the same power structure. Fox News and the right wing are playing along with that. And they're trying to manage it and pose as anti-establishment so they can hold on. The only one that's done it is Rick Perry so far. He's the only person to win as, a, as an incumbent in a primary in the last year and a half because he started claiming he was shooting coyotes in the city limits and wearing cowboy hats and being seen with guns every day and talking about secession and fighting the new world order. I mean, he put on the coloration of an Alex Jones, and so he was able to survive. My friends, this is so massive what's happening. The elite are going to hit you and hit you hard. To keep you in the left-right paradigm, they're going to have the NAACP say, if you're against government health care, if you're against uh, socialism, if you're against the carbon tax, you are a Klan member. They've said that in the last two days. Uh, to scare black people and to keep them on the reservation. Mecha, La Raza. Hey, if, if Arizona doesn't want to collapse and have their whole state taken over and have thousands of dead and uh, be the kidnapping capital of the United States, they're racist. But it isn't working. But that's another example of false flag terror, where they're invoking race cold-bloodedly, knowing it has nothing to do with it, to manipulate and control people. The oil spill, clearly they gave orders to, uh, to the uh, operators that they knew on record in the Coast Guard report would cause the well to blow up. They blocked the response. They blocked the cleanup. They blocked the foreign skimmer ships to make the crisis as big as they can. They're gearing up for an Iran attack and now openly admitting it. While all this is going on, they're setting up their new global banking takeover, their new global government, and the end of the dollar as the world reserve currency in the background. That's the key to what's happening. And we'll get to the most important information straight ahead, the collapse of this republic, how it is being engineered, and how we can defeat these people straight ahead. Hounded by debt collectors with phone calls and letters, thinking of calling a debt relief company? Don't. Greedy lawyers and debt companies charge thousands. Why pay when you can get their solution absolutely free with New York Times best-selling author Herb Kay's number one debt secret, the how-to on stopping the calls without paying the debt companies. Yes, free for a very limited time. Here's Herb Kay. Don't get ripped off by credit repair companies when I can give you the information you need to do it yourself for free. 
Herb K. was right. His free information helped me stop the calls and settle my debt. What do you have to lose? Stop the calls now. Get out of debt and have more money. Get Herb K.'s number one debt secret absolutely free now. Call 800-405-7850. That's 800-405-7850. 800-405-7850. The economy is crumbling, debt soaring, and the possibility of World War III is increasing. I started SurvivalistSeeds.com from my dining room table with a small bucket of seed and a single rotating banner ad on PrisonPlanet.com. Two years later, we've sold over 40,000 pounds of heirloom seeds, becoming the largest bulk seed seller to the public. The majority of our customers are Alex Jones listeners. Now I'm offering 50 all-organic garden varieties, 10,000 heirloom seeds, garden planner, and a CD teaching you how to save seeds so your children's children will always have healthy food. Don't wait until it's too late. I'm Big John Lipscomb, and my company is Survival.